Hey Bulldogs, it is Mr. Rivera and we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month here at Mount Vernon High School and we are really excited because September 15th to October 15th is Hispanic Heritage Month and it was signed into law by Lyndon B. Johnson in 1968 as a week but now it's a whole month celebration signed by President Ronald Reagan in 1983. So what we are really proud about is that we celebrate here at Mount Vernon High School, we have a celebration, but I am very honored and very privileged to interview our new assistant principal, Dr. San Martin. So Dr. San Martin, how does it feel to be a Bulldog for two, three weeks? It's been very exciting. Um, this is exactly what I was hoping for. When I make the decision to uh, search for Mount Vernon High School, I had so many expectations about being part of a lovely, warm community. And this is exactly what I have found. What I'm gonna talk about is what is your vision for Mount Vernon High School? What are you gonna do to change our school culture, our school, so that we can make sure, like what you talked about, that we teach everybody who walks through that door. Um, I will always bring my vision of social justice in everything I do, but I also believe, and um, one of the things that I asked Dr. Roche when I got here, along with my amazing AP team, is to allow me to work with nine graders. Uh, in the past, nine graders were into uh, an alpha system. I believe that in order to be able to create consistency with nine graders and start the road exceptionally well, you need one administrator. Not that people is not going to help you. I have been given an amazing team with Mr. Gonzalez and uh, Mr. Armando, uh, the dean of students. But within the three of us, our focus is nine graders. As, as far as we see it, this is not about, it's, it's about teaching formation and information. It's, it's a really nice balance. And when I think of our nine graders, I want them to know that part of my job is to truly take care of them. And I said this in their presentation, it's a, it's a love story between them and I. And love stories, if anybody has been in love, know that it has up and downs. It's never like a even, Steven, and you can just move on. No, there is going to be moments that are great. There are going to be moments where formation of character is going to come through, and that is very important to me. If we, only, if we only were to just have students that are intellectually strong, but they don't have a moral character, integrity, you know, empathy, caring for others, then we haven't done our job. So it is my hope and my vision to be able to bring to our nine graders, but also all the students, that sense of balance between them knowing who they are and to be very, very proud of their heritage, to really say, this is who I am, I know who I am, and I know where I'm going. And those are things that are not easy to achieve. But I hope with everybody's help, I am actually able to attain that. Well, I think the a good school is about loving and caring. Exactly what you're talking about, loving and caring. And I love all the love that you're bringing to our school. I love what you're bringing to this. But I also want to talk about that it wasn't easy, your journey. And some of our Latina students want to be a leader like you. You're a leader, you're a principal, you have a doctorate degree. What advice would you give to our young Latinas that are watching this video and let them know that anything's possible, right? My father always had a Spanish expression that said, sigue adelante. Sigue adelante is all I heard. I don't think I ever considered that because of the care that my parents gave me and how much they uh, pushed me to do things. I never really have a sense that things couldn't get done, but there is what you want to believe and there is also reality. And reality at times can be brutal and you have to be able to move past it. The important part, I think the advice that I will give to not only our lovely Latina uh, young ladies and old ladies and young men is if you want to attain something, if something really matters to you, you have to persevere and you will take the nose and you are allowed to feel sad and you are allowed to, you know, not have the best month or year. But the reality is that you keep pushing forward. You are going to get there. It, there is nothing that can stop a heart and a brain that say move forward. 
if you move forward with what you want to do, you can do it. And yes, was it easy to be where I am? I sometimes don't give myself enough credit. I, I don't think of me as anyone more special than anyone else. I went to college. I did things. But the reality is that my focus in social justice has to do a little bit of the barriers that you can experience as a woman of color. And as a woman of color, at least within my generation, you have to do everything super well and you have to do it better than anyone else and sometimes it gets tiresome and it gets frustrating and you just go like gosh I mean can I just be seen like everybody else but the world is not there yet but I believe it will get there and the possibilities for all young ladies is just I'll say what my dad said to me move forward, sigue adelante, be aware. You have to be aware of what's surrounding you so you can maneuver, you, you can find that place that you are seeking for in a way that is respectful and smart. But you need to be able to activate and know yourself. If you do not know yourself, if you do not develop a sense of waiting and patience, because things happen for some people very quickly, for some do not. But you should never stop what you want to do just because things are not manifesting at the moment that you think everybody else has it. This is not a competition with others. This is a competition with yourself. And I don't like the word competition, but let's place it. I mean, I love Monopoly and whoever tries to beat me, I, that probably is not going to go well. Well, it's because you're an accountant. There's no way you could you could beat you, and and because you know the IRS, you know all the banking systems. I would not play you in Monopoly. So I know you live by a quote by Eleanor Roosevelt. Eleanor Roosevelt was one of the greatest first ladies ever. And so tell me why you chose Eleanor Roosevelt as your hero. Ah, uh, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Nadie puede hacerte sentir inferior sin tu consentimiento. Really speaks to people's identity and assertiveness of who they are. When Eleanor Roosevelt, uh, as, as you well said, it, a lady that I admire for all of her social justice work and so ahead of her time and so bright, so smart, for me is... When you hear that phrase, I want students to wonder, what does it really mean that no one can make you feel inferior without your consent? Is it the right way for people to just go and fight? Is that, is that how you're really going to make someone not make you feel inferior without your consent? Or, without your consent? or is it going to be you moving forward and attaining your sense of dignity and your sense of uh, being part of a community that is striving? What is really the lesson here? So when I think of, I mean, you are students or, you know, you, you, your brains are still developing, but you really need to start thinking because it's not going to take too long. Even if you're a freshman, four years goes very quickly. So what is to really respect yourself, to make sure that others see you as a dignified human being? That's a phrase that speaks so much in such a short phrase. So. I want the whole student body to think what that truly means and what that means to you and how you make others respect you in the manner that you go about or are you going to force and impose respect. Respect is something that you give, respect is something that you receive, but you have to work on it. Things are not immediate. Wow. What words of advice from our new assistant principal, Dr. San Martin. Thank you so much for this wonderful interview. I'm inspired by listening to your story and your words of wisdom. And welcome to the Bulldog family. And thank you. Celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. There's no better leader than Dr. San Martin. Go Bulldogs. <laughs> Thank you so much. I wanna, I'm gonna say this in Spanish and uh, hopefully everybody can translate it or just understand it. So, estoy muy orgullosa de ser una mujer hispana. Uh, adoro mi comunidad, adoro la comida, adoro el sabor, el, el cessness 
que uno tiene como ser una persona hispana, pero lo que yo más respeto de comunidad latina es el sentido de familia. Familia significa mucho más en la palabra en español quizá que en otros idiomas. Y la razón por la cual familia significa mucho más es porque nos hace una comunidad única. Estamos juntos, nos superamos juntos, seguimos adelante juntos. Y puedo decir que este mes va a ser una celebración preciosa y no puedo esperar ver todo lo que la comunidad de Mount Vernon es, es a parte, está a punto de hacer. Muchas gracias por esta entrevista y uh, tengan un buen año. Vayan a clase, don't skip, be where you need to be. And, uh, I look forward getting to know everybody. And I, I'm going to say it because it's good to use the word love. I love you very much and you can count that you have another mother right here whenever you need it. Thank you.